Waverley. We've been growing cotton here since the early 1980s. It's a family run business. I guess you could say it's in my blood. I'm thrilled to be part of a modern and sustainable cotton industry. It makes me proud to think that very soon this field will be clothing families around our nation and across the world. This is where the Australian cotton story begins. From a humble seed to now where we are today at harvest time. The last six months we've been using the world's best technology and biotechnology to nurture this crop to grow some of the world's highest quality cotton. This is where all the hard work comes together at the business end of the season. We're using round bale pickers which gives us a cleaner pick and less contamination which is better for us and our customers. Water is a precious resource and a key part of our industry. We're using world's best practice and the latest technology to use it as efficiently and responsibly as possible to make every drop count. If you think you've seen cotton, you haven't seen it like this. Once the cotton is picked, it gets loaded onto a truck and delivered to one of the gins for processing. We move all the cotton in Australia from the paddock to the gin by road. It's a third generation family business and we could not do it without cotton. We certainly feel it when the cotton crop is down. Cotton's a big employer of Australians in rural communities. Every farm employs nearly seven people. We have very high labour standards, so they're well looked after. Families like mine all play a role in getting the cotton from a seed through to the finished product. I'm proud to be a part of a strong industry which plays a big role in our community. The gin is where we separate the cotton lint from the seeds, where it can be turned into bales and sold into the world market. I've been working here for five years and my job is to maintain and operate the machinery that makes some of the world's best cotton fibre. This gin is one of the biggest and can turn out over 120 bales an hour, 24 hours a day, seven days a week during the processing season. Australian cotton gins are leaders when it comes to safety, quality and technology. We handle our cotton with care and dedication to provide the cleanest cotton possible and preserving the fibre, which is very important to our customers. The cotton bales that are produced here are brought from the gin. Underneath the shed here, we put them under cover to keep them out of the weather. Um, most of the bales, we try and get them out at the average of 227 kilos. A cotton bale will make 215 pairs of jeans, approximately 1,200 shirts, and we approximately do about 4 million bales in Australia a year, which is good for our country. After the cotton bales are ginned and pressed, they are loaded onto trucks and trains and sent to the ports for shipping, mostly to overseas markets. The main ports for Australian cotton are in Brisbane and Sydney, and it only takes 14 days for it to travel up into Asia, where our customers are. There's also a big market for our seed, which gets crushed for oil and used for stock feed. No part of the plant gets wasted, which is pretty cool. This cotton here is heading to Melbourne to be made into socks. Here at the spinning mill is the next stop for our Australian cotton bale. The barcode has travelled all the way from the field, providing full traceability. Here at the CSIRO spinning mill, we put Australian cotton through the full industrial process. From opening and cleaning, through carding, drawing, combing, roving, through to spun yard. Australian cotton is sold very successfully into Asian markets. The spinning ability of 
Australian cotton in those markets is held in high regard. And the spinning ability is actually tested here at CSIRO in Victoria for every new variety that comes through. As well as testing spinning ability, we also develop new spinning technologies and new fabric finishing technologies that go with Australian cotton into the marketplace. Textile mills really love using Australian cotton. This yarn here is headed to the dye house and from there will be used to make fine count Australian socks. The dyeing process starts when we take delivery of the yarn from the spinning mill. The yarn arrives on cones stacked on pallets and then is transferred to the spindle on the dyeing carrier. The dye spindle is then lowered into the dyeing vat and the process of dyeing takes approximately eight hours. Australian cotton dyes really well, it's contamination free, resulting in more even coloration and brighter colours. Our customers love to use our yarn because we are using Australian cotton. After the dyeing process, the yarn will put through the hydro frequency dryer and then transfer to the winding machine and pack to the box ready to deliver to the customer. Compunit Hosiery is an Australian-made, Australian-owned company that works closely with Australian growers and spinners to produce an Australian-made sock. The start of the process in knitting a pair of socks is that we get a concept from the client. We then put that concept up as a pattern. The machine is then loaded up with yarn, so we take the boxes of yarn, bring them up close to the machine, pull open the carton, take out the appropriate colours, load them onto the machine and thread the machine up through the individual feed points. The socks are then knitted, taken to a steam tumbler, which will inject steam to relax the fibres, also puff the fibres up and give it the equivalent of about three washes in uh, shrinkage. From the tumbling process, we also go to a pressing, which will shape the socks, give it a aesthetically appealing appearance for the socks, which will make it a saleable item. The socks are then graded or checked for any faults. Uh, from there, they get paired, folded, and brought to the packing table. Add any adhesive stickers, such as the Australian Made logo, uh, a label if required, and then packed into bags boxed and shipped out to the customer. We're proud and very humbled by the fact that we can supply the Australian market with Australian-made socks. It gives us great honour to be able to service this industry.